Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is uh, a bit of an older video. It's just as the new year started, but I went shooting, um, shooting in the UK, went clay pigeon shooting, and also took the kids and Joel to Harry Potter. So yeah, take a look. I hope you enjoy it. Happy New Year, everybody. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I mean, it's like nearly halfway through January. We, it is very dark in the car because it's covered in snow. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's cute. Um, Joel is here. This is Joel. Don't know if you know him. These are the children. Um, we're on the school run and then we're off to the gym. And I thought I'd start vlogging again, so there you go. Hi. Joel, what are you doing at the gym? I don't know. You're my trainer. No, I'm not. Um, I'm not. So I just have a look. I think it's a full body session. Oh. What are you doing? I'm doing content at the gym. I'm filming content. I've got my, what's that called? A tripod. I've got my tripod. Explain um, what you mean by content. Stuff for Instagram, TikTok, short form stuff, informative, helpful stuff. Um, this is the part of my job that I love. Also, it's embarrassing. Isn't it? I well, know, you have to fight through the embarrassment. Of yeah, life. I kind of you don't really care what people think. Well, that's good. They literally have no impact on my life whatsoever, so... Do you care what I think? Sometimes. I mean, this is a setup, really, when it comes to doing content in the gym. I've just taken the microphone off. Um, as you can see, there's, there's people all over, but you've just got to get over it. They don't care. Nobody... This is the thing, nobody cares about you. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean, like, you don't enter into people's thoughts. They might see some guy in a gym filming content, they don't go home and go, I can't believe that guy was filming content. I can't believe he had his camera out. We worry far too much about what people think and we shouldn't do. And also, doing stuff like this is a really good way to build your confidence, just to stretch. You know, doing things that are slightly uncomfortable, and the more you do it, the more you get used to it's like training a muscle. Believe it or not, I used to hate talking to camera. Um, I used to hate filming content. I used to hate doing stuff like this where I would feel like a bit of an idiot. And sometimes I do still feel like a bit of an idiot. Um, especially when you're doing social media stuff where you've got to be a bit more brash, a bit more, because you've got to get people's attention. So, but yeah, I'm done now. I'm going to head home, get on with some work. Good morning. It is Friday today. Um, it's just before eight o'clock. I'm just heading to the gym. Um, today I'm going shooting, clay pigeon shooting, uh, with my friend Aaron, a couple of his mates. We're going to go. Been before, went last year, and I was on the fence when I went. I wasn't really thinking I'd go I was going to enjoy it. And then when we got there, I loved it. Going again shoot some bits of clay. I'm gonna to head to the gym this morning. We had rugby training last night. As you can see, it's still it's still pretty icy here. The, the snow's basically turned to ice, which has meant that we've not really been able to train. But what we did yesterday at training, and I wanted to talk about this because I thought it was amazing. When I first started rugby, we, there was no way they would have done this, but they were talking about mental health, why it's important, can you work on it? How can we check in on each other as teammates, as you know, as coaching staff? What are signs to look out for? What do we do about it? I just thought it, it was such a far cry from when I first started playing rugby and it would be like, just toughen up, just get on with it, just go down the pub, just do, you know, really unhealthy ways of dealing with poor mental health. And the big thing that I thought was really good and something I talk about a lot was how your mental health is fluid and how it, you know, you can wake up on a morning, you're late, uh, you get stuck in traffic and you feel like you're on survival mode um, and then a song comes on, it makes you happy and then it goes up, you know, you, mental, you feel a lot better, Some, someone compliments you at work and how it fluctuates through the day and they spoke about mental fitness, which I really like the idea of, you know, your mental health is the same as your physical health you can work on it, you can make it more robust. So there's, you know, there's always gonna be things that are gonna impact you. You know, if, if you were to get ill, if you were to get injured, physically they, they're gonna take some getting over, but you can prevent that from happening by eating healthy, you know, training, looking after yourself. And the same goes for your, for your mental health, you know, when, stresses come and bad things inevitably do happen you know you can look after your your mental health therapy journaling talking to people meditating i was so proud of the club the coaching staff 
I suppose the game that it's now putting that front and centre and that it's important and it's placing as much emphasis on that as time in the gym or time on the field. It made me feel really proud and really glad that that's the case because it's, I wish that had been in place when I was struggling with my own mental health, you know, years ago. So it's, it's really good and it's really good to hear the lads open up and not, you know, scoff at it. So yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do a little bit. Got my got my last session. We've got a game on Sunday. We've got a friendly against York, so uh, we've got a quick run through tomorrow for training, um, and then me and the kids and Joe we're going to Harry Potter tomorrow as well. So fun packed weekend. We are. At, here we are at the shooting range. So we're going to have some practice shots first. Um, we're going to have some practice shots. We're going to have about fifty each on different different platforms that shoot different. Um, as you can see, that one's up there. Aaron's gonna have a go here and then at the end we're gonna have a competition. We'll just stay in one place and like have best to see so who can get most of the 10 shots. Um, so here we go. So let's have a look at Aaron's first shot here. Whoa. We got it, yes. Yes, as a sharp shooter. Yes, good one. This one is called the seabird and you've got to get in front of it and then let it go. So let's have a look how Aaron does it here. First one. So it wasn't supposed to be a competition, but it's turned into a competition because Tony's keeping scores over there. And Aaron and Tony have shot out into the lead. I'm not doing so great, but I'm getting better. Last one, I got eight out of ten. So we finished up there, indifferent, I had an indifferent performance, but at the end there I had this double shot one and I was nailing it, I thought I'm on here, I'm going to get the double one, so I asked Aaron to, rec to record, which he did, can't see anything, completely missed it and I nailed both shots, it was like boom boom, felt like something out of a movie and then Aaron, cameraman, <laughs> I said did you get it, he was like yeah. No, he did not. Here we are. Here we are now. We're on the competition bit. As is up first. So this is best of 10 shots. Yep. Tony and Ian, both on 49. So we're going to have a shoot off. Right, we're halfway through the shoot off. Ian nailed five out of his 10. Pressure. Pressure pressure's on, yeah. Like origami folded under pressure. <laughs> yes, Tony, one from one. And then it's shoulder two from two oh god great work and the winner there we go done shooting for the day i came third uh 34 shots out of 80 so just less than half i'm gonna head back now pick the kids up um and then they're here for the weekend morning it is saturday we are out for a dog walk it's very totes frosty um i've already been training this morning and we're waiting to hear what's happening with the games we've got a game tomorrow we're playing york away but because of the frost um we don't know if we're going to be playing in the stadium which we're supposed to be doing where people can come and watch or we'll end up playing on a 4g pitch so that's like a fake um artificial pitch um, and that'll be at the university which will be behind closed doors so joe doesn't know whether he's coming to watch me tomorrow or not no idea. I don't like not knowing. I like. Well, we're finding out at, at 12 o'clock today. So we're going to take the dogs for a walk because we are going to Harry Potter this afternoon. So we're going to take the dogs for a big walk. The builders are in at the house doing the, um, the bathrooms, the never ending bathrooms. They're still getting done, although they are making good progress. The top ones, oh, should be should nearly fell, should be done this weekend. Um, so we're excited to take the kids to Harry Potter. So we're going to tire the dogs out and then set off. We're just about ready to leave. Fletcher, are you excited for Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, brimming with it. Taylor's playing the piano, as you can hear. Oh, she's stopped now. What are we playing? Another one. Bye. Talk us through your outfit. The Knicks shot. <laughs> are you a New York Knicks fan? 
Are you ready for Harry Potter? I'm ready. You look thrilled. I am. I am thrilled. It's a three-hour drive, isn't it? In it. Well, it's our first. It's our first family out in, like a proper family day out, isn't yeah, it? The last time was Crystal Mates, wasn't it, in Manchester? But other than that. Oh yeah, we did that. I forgot about that. We were good then as well, weren't we? Let's go get in the car, because as Joel rightly said, it's a three-hour drive. Yeah. So I'd love to tell you that I got some great footage for Harry Potter, but I didn't because I'm a terrible vlogger and I forgot to take my camera. So this is what we got. This is the footage that we got from, uh, that I put together in a reel on Instagram. Um, unfortunately, this is as good as it's gonna get, but it was amazing. I would highly recommend going. Uh, Fletcher bought himself Voldemort's wand. Of course he did. Taylor got herself a Gryffindor mug. Um, and it took us a good few hours to get around, it was so good. I thought the prosthetic bit and the models was so interesting how they did it all. But yeah, guys, if you've got any thoughts about going to see uh, Harry Potter Studios, it's, it's art, it's genuinely art. The, pe the amount of people that are involved with it, it's fantastic, so go see it. It's Sunday morning. We got back about half 11 last night from Harry Potter. Um, no traffic on the way there, which was great. It got straight back, everybody went straight to bed. Got up this morning, food prep. As you can see, lunch is done for the week. I've eaten, um, I'm currently cleaning my Invisaligns. Hygiene. Had a bit of a productive morning. We, we, so we were supposed to play York in a friendly today which we are still playing, but we're now playing it behind closed doors because the field at the stadium is frozen. So we're playing on a 4G fake pitch. So it's essentially gonna be a full contact, full game, but behind closed doors. Uh, because we've only got one more week, one more friendly, and then we're into the season proper where the games start meaning something. So I've had some porridge. Um, we've got to, I'm gonna drop the kids off at their mums and then <clears throat> And head to the club we've got the bus to get over um, and then essentially it's like proper prep for a game so we ended up losing that uh, friendly game against York we got absolutely tanked um, look again I forgot to take my camera so I'm getting better I'm getting better um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, if you did subscribe like it share it do all the things you do you know what you're doing you watch YouTube um, and I'll see you for the next video on my channel thank you guys